Did you know that with a simple 41 inch band, you have multiple ways to modify or change your band resistance? Let me take you through just a few ways that I'm gonna use this one band to change up resistance for some of the exercises that I'm about to show you. First and foremost, I wanna go ahead and teach you that this is a continuous loop band. So as a result of that, you are typically gonna be going ahead and using two components of this band, this side and this side. So as I grasp this band, I'm gonna go ahead and be using both of them. Or if I'm dropping in and I'm doing a squat, I now have a band on either side of me and I'm gonna go ahead and be using both of them. So that's the first way that you're traditionally gonna be using this continuous loop band. Now, you could also go ahead with some exercises and only use one segment of this continuous loop band. For example, I can go ahead and come in and do my pull parts, but now I'm only using one segment or one side of the band. As a result of that, I've decreased the band resistance by 50%. On the flip side of that, I can go ahead and double this band. So now I have the band looped together and it's only a 20 inch band, but I have significantly more resistance with this now. So now I can go ahead and do something like hooking it over my foot and doing a simple single arm lawnmower roll. But I'm going to be using the band in a shortened position, so I'm literally doubling the resistance. And then lastly, you can use a portion of the band. For example, if I wanted to go ahead and do that same single um, lawnmower roll, but I only want to use the two sides of the band, I can go ahead and stand on it, but I'm only using this portion of the band. So as a result of that, my band is only literally 12 inches long. So as a result of that, that's going to allow me to create a different type of tension. Bottom line is, if you go ahead and use your band in a shortened position, like the double position, or you're using a portion of it, understand that the rule of thumb is, whatever length of band I'm using, I can only stretch that 1.5 that length. So as an example, if I'm gonna go ahead and use a 20 inch band, I can now stretch that, six, six, that portion of the band another 20 inches plus another 10, so 30 inches. So keep that in mind as you're using shortened bands. But outside of that, understand that this simple single band, single continuous loop band, has multiple ways that we can go ahead and increase resistance and not have to change the band to a different level of band. Great way to go ahead and train, and great way to go ahead and utilize the band. Just keep in mind, all of those positions don't apply to each and every exercise.